The U.S. House of Representatives voted to pass a bipartisan infrastructure bill that contains a controversial cryptocurrency tax reporting requirement. The House voted in favor of the bill with at least 218 eyes fulfilling a key priority for the Biden administration amid controversy over whether an accompanying Democrat-led bill would also move forward. The Senate originally passed the bill in August after lawmakers shot down any attempts at amending the crypto provision. This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about Joe Biden canceling cryptocurrency in the USA. The bill now goes to U.S. President Joe Biden for his signature. On November 5, Congress passed a $1.2 trillion infrastructure package, sending the legislation to President Joe Biden for his signature. But while the measure makes historic investment in roads and bridges, it also maintains a controversial new cryptocurrency tax reporting requirement that the Treasury Department could apply to miners. Biden's Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act requires brokers to report trader information on transactions of more than $10,000 to the IRS. The provision was added to the Senate version of the bill in late July after the Joint Committee on Taxation estimated that it would offset $28 billion of infrastructure costs over the next decade. Before we move on, make sure to like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click that notification bell right now because if you don't, all of your crypto investments will have zero profit and worse, get cancelled too. Now going back, the cryptocurrency community is more concerned about how the bill defines a broker more than the new tax requirements it imposes on them. Industry groups and think tanks like the Chamber of Digital Commerce and Coin Center have argued that the bill's current language is too broad and vague and could impose these reporting requirements to miners and wallet developers, not just brokers like Coinbase. Senators that are sympathetic to the cryptocurrency industry like Senators Ron Wyden and Cynthia Loomis tried to remedy the problem over the summer before the Senate passed a bill joining with Senator Pat Toomey for an amendment clarifying the role of brokers and the legislation. But the amendment was shot down when Senator Richard Shelby objected to a unanimous motion to approve it in August. Shelby previously chaired the Senate Banking Committee. Shortly after the Senate's passage of the bill, the bipartisan blockchain caucus sent a letter to every House lawmaker calling on them to help fix the crypto pay for. Cryptocurrency tax reporting is important, but it must be done correctly, the lawmakers wrote in the August letter. When the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act comes to the House, we must prioritize amending this language to clearly exempt non-custodial blockchain intermediaries and ensure that civil liberties are protected. Despite any efforts to change the bill language in the House, the problematic broker definition remains in the final bill. Once Biden signs the legislation, the Treasury Department will have the sole authority to decide what entities would be considered brokers. A Treasury official previously told CNBC that it wouldn't target miners and hardware developers, but that promise doesn't prevent new administrations from going after them in the future. Cryptocurrency groups are already preparing to bar the Treasury from changing its mind on miners in the future. Niraj Agrawal, director of communication for Coin Center, said that the group would be pursuing legislative fixes to constrain the new language more permanently. In a tweet, it's unclear when this remedy could look like as of publication. Aside from the cryptocurrency reporting rules, the infrastructure package includes billions of dollars to improve roads, bridges, and other physical infrastructure across the country. The measure includes $65 billion to connect every American household to high-speed broadband over the next 10 years. There is also $7.5 billion to build over half a million EV charging stations. White House Press Conference Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg said that the bipartisan infrastructure deal will now become the law of the land, but declined to answer additional questions on when to expect Biden to sign the bill. The White House has yet to announce the timing for a future signing ceremony. This will in turn create tax reporting challenges for many crypto investors. Maddox says, for investors who use their own crypto wallet, the information reported to the IRS on the 1099 form will be prone to inaccuracy since the exchanges reporting on trading activity will have a limited view into what these investors paid for crypto in the first place. So what should investors do in response to the new law? 
For crypto investors looking to stay on the right side of the new law pertaining to their investments, there are two big things to keep in mind. One, keep track of your cost basis. What you originally paid for your crypto as accurately as possible to reconcile with what the exchanges will be reporting to the IRS. Two, finding a crypto knowledgeable tax professional could even be more helpful in accurately reporting your crypto investments. Be as transparent as possible with regard to what cryptocurrency you hold and what you paid for it. While the IRS considered cryptocurrency taxable property before the new legislation, the defined requirements raises the stakes for investors to make sure they are reporting their activity accurately and completely. I think a lot of folks are in for a big tax surprise, Maddox says, an independent CFP based in South Carolina. The IRS is going to be tracking this information and there's no avoiding the tax consequences and gains now. Are you wondering what does the new legislation mean for the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum? In the hours after Biden signed the new infrastructure bill into law, Bitcoin and Ethereum saw big drops in price after both had set multiple new all-time highs in recent days. Bitcoin dropped below $59,000 overnight and Ethereum dropped below $4,200. Both have climbed back up modestly. Cryptocurrency is notoriously volatile, prone to big price swings by the day and even the hour. While experts recommend crypto investors stick to the relatively more established Bitcoin and Ethereum, even these biggest two cryptocurrencies commonly see big ups and downs. Since cryptocurrency is such a new asset class, experts say it is more susceptible to influence by anything from a celebrity tweeting about a given crypto to new government regulations that impact it as an investment class. One benefit is that the bill explicitly allows crypto miners to deduct their expenses from their taxes. The first is that the bill explicitly allows crypto miners to deduct their expenses from their taxes just like any other business could. To understand why that's important, we have to understand the way cryptocurrency works. Almost none of the major cryptocurrencies are issued by the government. The major cryptocurrencies are created through a process called mining. In mining, lots of people are all trying to solve the same problem, get together and use their computers to try to guess the answer to a complicated math problem. The person who guesses the answer first gets to claim some newly created tokens. The math problems the miners are trying to guess is generated by the cryptocurrency software, but it doesn't exist. It's made up. The software represents the cryptocurrency itself. It's the code and the code uses a set of algorithms to solve a complex mathematical problem. The algorithms are complicated, they are measured in millions of lines of code, and no one can ever understand them. But in a complicated computer code, the rules say a line can contain anything, but it can't be any line except one, the instruction returns. So for example, when mining cryptocurrency, you first download a program that will compile the algorithms into lines of code. Then you run this program on thousands of computers, each of which is solving part of the problem. When a miner guesses the answer, the program transfers the tokens to him. To mine cryptocurrency, you have to buy computer equipment. Some of the equipment costs a lot, like graphics cards that mine cryptocurrency with graphics, mining software, and mining hardware, but other equipment like small computers costs very little. What about tax evaders? The new provisions on crypto taxation introduced in the 2021 infrastructure bill by Joe Biden had targeted cryptocurrency rich investors, including the creation of a cryptocurrency tax collection office, CTCO, and a cryptocurrency tax compliance agency, CTCA, to target U.S. tax evaders and non-compliance makers by targeting the cryptocurrency market. This new infrastructure bill calls for new federal standards for cybersecurity. The bill imposes new reporting requirements on anyone who trades in more than $20,000 of virtual currency in a given year. It calls for new federal standards for cybersecurity. It repeals a 2015 provision that allowed people to avoid most taxes when the currency they sold was used to buy things. Cryptocurrency exchanges will have to obtain government approval before they launch. Now that's a good thing, but the bill doesn't say anything about what kind of approval exchanges they would have to get. We hope the exchanges will have to get approval before they start trading. The bill includes some provisions that the Securities and Exchange Commission hopes will use to make it easier and cheaper for exchanges to get approval. The bill doesn't say anything about whether the SEC will approve or disapprove exchanges. Some might see this as a concerning matter, for some it might be good news. How about you? How would you take it? What are your thoughts about all of this? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. 
To learn more about Angerly and Angerly tokens, check out the links in the description.